Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Dorota Palitska International Nail Artist and Educator here and today we are going to create a beautiful pastel set. You can have a wee preview of it in here. I absolutely love these colors, hope you do it too. Let's start! <laughs> stunning designs I will show you a step by step how to create it so I've got the tips ready in here and we are going to paint them color 214 it's a really nice color I quite like it and I think this set would do really nice um, as a wedding set of the nails as well So I'm just painting the entire set. Yeah, I, I think I will be definitely using it a lot in the coming weeks, this color. So the pinky nail, we are going to treat it with some sugar, I think, or maybe leave it alone. I will decide it as we go. Just a second layer. has kind of almost pearly finish to it. It's pearly, but it's not pearly. It looks really nice. And the last one. and then cure it. On, on our mixing palette we are going to prepare paint on French gel. And then we will apply the matte top coat. So matte top coat And I like this top coat a lot. It has this kind of velour feel to it. Really nice. Okay, the pinky we are going to... Uh, we will make it sugar. So I'm just applying High Shine No Wipe Top Gel. and then sprinkle it with the sugar. I think it should look really pretty over this color. Actually, it does looks really pretty. Oh, wow. Cook it. And I'm going to do it the same on the index finger. I think it's so pretty. See, that's the best thing to decide. Like, once you start doing the nails, you can decide if you want to have some look or not, because then you know how the things look together. So 
so I'm just sprinkle it tap to remove the excess and then cook it okay the matte one is ready and we are going to start painting the design so I will use the watercolor brush from the new perfect the larger one and some paint on French gel you can add also the drop of the top cotton there just so you've got it more watery I would say and then we can paint those beautiful flower design so I'm just painting a kind of petals in there and because we have put the top coat they are going to be kind of see-through So I've got some flower there and then we are going to paint some leaves then using the liner brush I just clean it from the previous paint I'm just going to give a little bit definition to the leaves And again, dip in, paint on French gel. And paint some branch. Using a dotting tool, add a couple dots. I'm just swapping for a smaller one. Okay, and now this part of the design we are going to sprinkle with some uh, white acrylic powder. Okay, so I'm using the mega white acrylic powder. So it becomes nice and matte. Cook it. I'm actually going to just clean it in case like the matte top coat doesn't have inhibition layer but because we are rubbing all those different pigments and acrylics I just clean it, it quickly and then we are going to paint another flower in here and couple leaves then using a fine brush I'm just touching up those leaves it's just much quicker this way And then a couple branches. Okay. 
dotting tool. I actually really like this design. Sprinkle with the white acrylic powder. Cook it. Okay, so let it cure properly. Close the acrylic powder. We are not going to need it anymore. Now grab the first sugar, which is ready. Remove the excess of it. So brush away excess glitter and how beautiful it is. I will try to show you the different type of sparkle we've got in there. Place it on our display. Ah, that's so pretty. I love it. I really love it. Second one. I would wear this set on my nails. It's absolutely amazing. We have done this so far. Okay, let's go to the first nail. So I'm using the brush to remove the excess of the acrylic. Okay, and we've got this nice matte look. And then using the paint on French gel, we are going to do the next part of this design. It doesn't need the top coat. It's going to be absolutely safe. So for the next part of the design, I'm going to outline some of the leaves. And the flower. So it almost looks like a lace, I would even say. My hands are unbelievably shaky today. And after we have done this part, I'm going to take a sugar glitter and sprinkle it with the sugar glitter. So the sugar will stick only to the fresh white lines which we have painted. Remove the excess and cure it. Until we clean it with the brush, it looks a bit messy, same like here. So I clean it with the brush and then it becomes nice and visible. I would be actually, guys, really happy to see your work as well. If you recreate this look, hashtag Dorota Palicka on Instagram, and then this way I will be able to see your work as well. Actually, any kind of designs which you have created and been inspired by this channel, uh, just uh, hashtag it and I will be able to see it as well. And if you're new in here, guys, hit the subscribe button. Lots of tutorials in here. Um, the products you can, which I'm using in here, you can get it from our website, which is www.dorotapalitska.com. And they are absolutely awesome. Like, you know, guys, I cannot live without of paint on French gel. So once I'm happy with it, I'm going to sprinkle it again. And then the last touch for this design 
is to apply some caviar beads which will give those really nice look to it as well. So let me just clean this mess from the sugar. And the caviar beads we will use in the rose gold because I feel like it does really goes with these colors like uh, and um, also by the way this sugar you can rub it in, into inhibition of the gel polish and uh, you will get those kind of look on it as well so I have used that uh, to rub it on top of the white and you can use on top of different colors uh, to receive different results now I'm removing the excess of the glitter and you can see it how beautiful look we've got now just a drop of the base gel base gel you are here to put a couple of those caviar beads and then I will be able to show you the final look so I'm using the old brush uh, to apply the caviar beads just pick up a couple so pretty And you can place them any way you want, really. I want kind of like a wee rounded space in there. Plus just couple there, couple there. Not too much, just a couple here and couple there. and then cook it. Same on this one, so remove the excess of the glitter. Caviar beads. Here I will go for a fuller look. Just to show you different options. I really love this design. I kind of like those delicate needles. And then once I'm happy with it, I'm going to cook it. And let's see the full set of those beautiful needles all together. So that's our middle finger. So pretty. Oh, I love it. I do really love it. So nice and wedding looking set. Of course you can change the color, like you could do it even a black lace and then you will get those more gothic kind of look to it. But uh, I have decided to use those white and nudie base. Um, I really love this set. I hope guys you think the same. I just show you at the different angles, really zoom in, look at the detail in the flower. Oh wow, <gasps> that's so pretty. And one more time, out of focus. Oh. Oh, that's so pretty. I love how the glitter sparkle when it's out of focus. Sorry guys, I keep doing it. It's so pretty. Yeah, I'm sending you lots of glittery hacks and bye for now. Mm -hmm.